Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube video, my YouTube channel, not video, channel. You know it's been a while, been a while. Uh, let me go outside. Go outside real quick. It's nice, hot and sunny. There go my baby. Yes, isn't she gorgeous? Back to me. Woo, it is hot. Yes, it is hot. Nice and hot here in Florida right now. It's, it's actually, this is some good, uh, what you call it, beach weather right now. I need to turn on the car. Turn on the AC. It is hot out here. But anyways, I went to... <laughs> I went to my mechanic shop that I always go to, right? Because I told them, hey, I'm having a little vibration, especially when I turn on the AC. I'm not, I don't even know for sure, but I think it's most likely it's probably one, one of the mount that is bad. I have a feeling it's the one that's on the right hand side, the right lower mount that's actually holding up the engine. Uh, let me just show you guys the results. So I took it there today, right? Look at the fees though. The parts by itself is 400 bucks. And it's four, it's four mounts all together. They have the one that hold up the engine at the bottom. You have another one that hold up the transmission. Have one in the middle. Uh, in the front and they also have one at the top which is the t-bone mount that's the easiest one i had replaces i had replaced that one so i know it's no problem with that one but uh they, he was saying basically they usually just replace all of them you know all at once but who have that type of money right now to like yo I know I have a little vibration, but you don't even feel it like that. You feel me? And the, I only feel it mostly when I have on the AC as well. Like when I have on the AC, you guys can't even like really see it because my, my steering wheel don't really shake. So I do need an oil change too. I'm going to order the oil online. Walmart. Walmart, guys. Walmart. Every time when you guys want to do an oil change change your oil and you want to get a pacific oil without going to the shop go to walmart it's cheap it's cheaper cheaper you could take your own well it depends on the area that you go i don't know how where you guys stay whatever but i always buy my parts and take it to the shop and they just charge me for the labor so it's cheaper that way but walmart is the way to go i do need to get it uh oil change <laughs> i'm sorry i'm laughing because uh jay's world just texted me and we were just having a little conversation but i read it real fast it, it was just funny what she said to me <laughs> what we was talking about <laughs> but yeah guys that is pretty expensive I do have a story time. I need to, you know, make a video and tell you guys a story time. What happened to me last week. Uh, I know I haven't dropped a video in a while. The last video that I dropped was like maybe a short video. And I can't remember what that short video was about. Maybe the gas prices or my sister graduation. That little short video that I posted. But yeah, I think I do need a mount. The guy didn't really check it. But because I explained the way how I explained it to him. He was like, yeah, most likely is the engine mount that's bad but the good thing about it is a good and a bad thing but as for right now i'm not worrying about the bad thing the good thing about this i could basically get the full mounts for under under a hundred bucks yes it's aftermarket it's not the oem but it's still going to get the job done and i'm not going to drive like a maniac to say you know what let me uh accelerate over a speed hump a speed bump whatever or drive into a deep pothole all the time the the potholes will only catch me when maybe it's nighttime and i'm driving and i don't know the roads like that because as i told you guys i drive for lift for a living that's how i make my bread 
uh, sometimes I do DoorDash as well too. But uh, in the nighttime, you know, certain roads I go on, I don't really know them like that because certain people just live a certain distance and you don't know the road. So you get caught sometime on certain uh, certain potholes. But uh, the aftermarket's still gonna get the job done. You know, this is a Toyota. This is not no high-end vehicle like an Audi or BMW, Mercedes-Benz, a Volvo, you know, a Jaguar or something. It's not one of those high-end vehicle, Ferrari, Lamborghini. It's none of that, you know? There's no high-end vehicle right here. This is a normal Toyota. Yes, I understand it's the Avalon. It's the same as the ES350 Lexus, you know, top of the line. It's an old car, 2008. I do my best to keep it up, but oh my gosh. $1,211, get out of here, man. The labor, $780. That is ridiculous. Yo, you trying to tell me to replace thought I had it here in my mouth but I didn't is uh something that I was eating I can't remember but um sorry about that you trying to tell me to remove and install four engine mounts on a Toyota you're gonna charge me seven hundred and eighty bucks seven hundred and eighty bucks for the labor well y'all have all the tools y'all have the lift I was watching a YouTube video I think it was yesterday or the day before right and this guy used he had two jack stands he had his jack and he did it by himself which I probably could probably do it by myself but I don't have all the tools to do that I'm I don't want to do it I don't want to do it I don't want to do it. I really don't want to do it. I don't. But that is ridiculous though. $780 for the labor. I could basically get that cheaper. Get it way cheaper. Somebody else. Get somebody else to do it. And they already know what to do anyways. So. This is my little update. Um, Have you guys ever changed your engine mount on your vehicles? I know my car is an old car. You know. It's not brand new, you know, it's a 2008, we in 2024, you know. <laughs> so, but have you guys ever owned an older vehicle and had to change the engine mount, you know, feel vibration? There's a way I could check it as well too, but you need two people, you know, when you shift your transmission, you're going to reverse, you know, you're going to drive go in the park and just have somebody to accelerate step on the, the the gas a little bit to see if the engine shift if it move around too much play you could check it that way I could basically ask my sister but <sighs> to do it but I'll do that next time I don't feel like getting out of the car I don't feel like calling her it is too hot all of that but as I said, the, the guy didn't even check. But as I said, because the way I explained to him, he was at vibration. He had already knew it was basically the engine mount. But mine's is not bad. Like right now, I feel I feel a little a little vibration. You know, my AC is on, especially when the AC is on, you feel it more. I take it off. Let me. Try to accelerate a little bit. Yeah, I don't feel it. Let me go into reverse. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Going to drive. I don't feel it. I only like feel it more when the AC, you know, have it in park. more when the AC is on but uh that's all I got for you today until I give you 
make my story time video I might upload that today because as I said I haven't been uploading a lot which I need to upload multiple things are hard right now so and I can't really work right now either because I'm restricted from driving due to the procedure which I'm gonna you know give you guys a video give you a story time on it tell you guys what happened to me last week thank God you know that I'm still alive and everything but I'm gonna cut it right here thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe really appreciate the love and the support and it's ridiculous they want to charge me a whole twelve hundred dollars four hundred dollars for the parts seven hundred and eighty dollars for the labor <laughs> that is ridiculous but uh thank you guys for watching please peace love kindness happiness I'm out until I upload my other video with my story time. Real peace.